every time a person sees my email address, the person is shocked into action. Lion beans themselves are extremely disgusted. Lion bean purees are beyond belief. Lion bean puree is foul and filthy. It is despicable. You would gag just getting around it to mash lime beans up into puree is one of the worst crimes ever. You would probably pass out if you dare consume lime bean puree. I want that shock to galvanize people to action to resist the evil lion meat industry. I want people to be powerful in destroying the lima bean industry. You too could create an email address to destroy the lion meat industry. How about I hate lion beans at email.com or lion beans are tools of Satan at hotmail.com or my entire existence is devoted to eradicating lion beans and crushing the lion bean industry from the face of the earth at Yahoo. The sky is the limit. You could do some serious damage to the lion bean industry. You could liberate humanity by using your email account. The lion bean industry tries to tell us people adore lion beans. People don't like lion beans. People don't even want to tolerate lion beans. People certainly don't adore lion beans. The lion bean industry gets people like Michael Jordan and Britney Spears to advertise for it. I don't care what these people say. Lion beans are still nasty. No matter how attractive the models are, lima beans are rotten. Cindy Crawford is on billboards everywhere advertising lima beans. Cindy Crawford is wrong. Boycott everything related to anyone who dares endorse lima beans. It is not right. The last time I gave this lecture, I mused about the possibility of using different types of beans for hummus besides the staple of garbanzo beans. You would think it would be possible. People just need to be imaginative. In the meantime, I have, I had discovered a place that actually tried this. The People's Food Co-op in La Crosse, Wisconsin created what was called fat-free hummus. Instead of containing garbanzo beans, it contained yellow split peas. It was all right. It was certainly not as good as regular hummus. One of my friends said, it sounds just like bean mash. She says the oil gives the flavor to the hummus. She is right. It was a good attempt. I fear a slippery slope. Today we might have yellow split peas in hummus. We might get to the point where there is lime of beans in hummus. Horror of horror. 
the library industry would love it. It wants to find ways to push lion beans on us. But don't let it. Don't, don't, don't. No matter how badly you need a dip for your chips, don't let the lion bean industry push this fall product on you. I hope we never see the day where we have lima bean hummus. Have you ever pondered the social significance of lima beans? You should have. There should be studies, dissertations, and theses on such topics as lima beans and deviants, lima beans cry, lima beans on the family, lima beans in labor, lima beans in cognitive dissonance, lima beans in groupthink, lima beans in authoritarianism, lima beans in dogmatism, lima beans in collective behavior, lima beans in social change. Whatever there is to study, most certainly lima beans would cause a negative effect on it. It is time to destroy the lima bean industry. The lima bean industry is evil. Lima beans are worthless substances. Lima beans are to be avoided at all costs. You should dedicate every single fiber of your being to resisting the evil lima bean industry. You should do everything you can, everything in your power, to set back the lima bean industry and advance noble humanity. Let's liberate the earth. Let's crush the lime bean industry to a bloody pulp. Good evening.